I think this is stopping the bleeding. Yeah. You're doing good, Amy. You're doing real good. You've lost a lot of blood, Clay. Yeah. I don't know how much more I can do. We gotta get you to a hospital. Yeah. Soon. Let's get you to the hospital. I can't get you up. Ava, Ava, listen to me. Frank sent out a May Day before, before we jumped. After he got to know that we're in trouble and what heading we were on. How are they supposed to know where we crashed? It's like weeks. There's a box on the plane that will keep on sending out the signal. Rescue crew will home in on it. Find a rescue. That's really good news. Yeah. They're going to find us. Yeah. Okay, I I've been in this woods for hours looking for you, and I haven't seen or heard any sign of a rescue plane overhead. Eva, the plane kept flying when we jumped out. I, I heard a conk out when we were on the way down, but it was on a pretty good glide path, and it might have traveled quite a distance before it finally crashed. No. But Ava. No. Ava. No. At least the airport knows we're in trouble. They'll send out a search plane, and they'll find the wreckage. and I want you to bring it back here, okay? Clay, you can't be serious. I'm very serious. I can't go back. I can't find the pilot. You don't understand. It took me hours to find you. I was searching in the woods. Ava, listen to and me. And even I... if I found him and I brought back the first aid kit, it would be dark before I got here. Ava, we all jumped out together. I watched you and Frank as we came down. And I have a pretty good idea yeah, where you landed. Yeah, it was miles from here. No. No, it wasn't. You, you must have been walking in circles when you left Frank's body. That's why it took so long to get to me. No. I'm sure of it. Look, you landed right over there, not more than a quarter of a mile away. I, I, I could still get lost. No, no, look. You put your sights on something tall, something high. Put your sights on that, on that tall spruce over there. Keep your eye on that, and you can find your way back to me. I don't know, Clammy. What about wild animals? Wolves, mountain lions, bears? Oh, they, God, They Ava. could eat me. No. And they could eat you. Ava. They say that the, the blood will attract Ava. animals. Ava. Ava. Stay here with Ava, damn it, listen to me. We're not at some party in Corinth where your only decision is whether you should dance or not. <laughs> <laughs> I need this infection, Ava. I gotta wrap this wound in, in some sterile gauze, not a parachute cloth. I know, but I'm I can't. talking about survival, Ava. If I die here, 
No. You're going to be the only one in these woods. Is that what you want? No, Gordon, I need help. All right, now, listen to me. I'm not asking you, Ava. I'm telling you. Now, you go get that kid. And you bring it back here. You hear me? And you go now. Now, now. now. undercover to fight age discrimination on who's the boss. Then a household accident gets the kids stuck in a sticky situation on growing pains. Mark is shocked when he learns Julie is Elizabeth's daughter on All My Children next. Baby, 
You can conquer the universe. <laughs> you gotta save your strength, okay? Just for me. Okay. Just Ava, at first light, I want you to go out and find the nearest clearing. It could be miles from That's here. Plain old. It'd be easy to spot you in a clearing. Just leave me here. Clay, I'm not gonna abandon you. Not in this condition. Listen to me. Forget about me. I'm. I'm a real hindrance now. I'm afraid you're gonna have to save yourself now. Oh, just stop it. Don't talk like that. Just, just rest, okay? Just sleep. Just sleep. I never met any Clay. But you've got to make it through the night. You've just got to. Take it easy, take it easy. Shh. by your side most of the night. Seems like the bleeding is under control, but the slightest moving. How do you feel? Okay. You're still burning up. Here. Does it feel cool? I dipped it in the stream down the hill. Oh, and look at here. Look what else. What is it? It's a spear. Uh, I mean, sort of. I don't be able to land a fish or two. Oh, it's, there's something you can eat right now. Wild raspberries, they grow all over the place. No. Come on, Clay, you've got to eat no. something. You haven't eaten anything since yesterday. No. Clay. Clay, listen. Listen, it's a plane. It's a rescue party, Clay. They're going to find us. They're going to find us. Ava. They can't see us through the trees. Well, that's what I said at the fire first thing. They're bound to see the smoke. No. Oh, no, this can't be. I don't believe it. The fire's gone out. They gotta see. They gotta find us. Please, please, you can't go away. We're right here. They missed us. They're gone. Fridays when mom used to practically ram it down my throat. I don't know, Clay. I know it's not much, but for the first time, I really think we're going to be okay. I mean, we've got fish, we've got berries, we've got plenty of fresh water. I mean, before, before you know it, the rescue crew is going to be here. You can just give me a few tips on how to clean and cook this thing. I think we'll be okay. What do you say? Clay? Clay?
stabilized. We're ready as we're ever going to be. Lower away. Long enough, Clay. Hang on. Just hang on, okay? such grief. Clay, <laughs> skydiving, really? <laughs> hey, skydiving is a good sport, if you land right. Oh. Yeah, it's not for the chairman of the board of Alton Enterprise. You're too much the daredevil, son. Now, from now on, no more stunts like this. My heart can't take it. I'm sorry, Dad. It doesn't matter as long as you're OK. Yeah. Well, I've got to run. I'm going to pick Mother up at the airport. I'll give her the news the minute she steps off the plane. And we'll stop by later to see you if you're not too tired. All right, you give her a hug for me, will you? You bet. Give you to an apology for putting you through all this, especially so close to your big day. Oh, don't you worry about our wedding. Steve and I have decided to postpone it until you're fully recovered. That's right, sir. Oh, no, no. I'm going to give you away on the 14th of August if I have to escort you down the aisle in this hospital gown. No! <laughs> uh, your mother may have something to say about that. <laughs> but with that attitude, it could shorten your convalescence. breakfast trays this morning at the break of dawn. Well, you should have gone right back to sleep. You don't get enough rest and it'll be strong enough. I feel terrific. The doctor said I want to be fine soon. So you can wipe that concern look off your face. Made it through the entire day with precious little help from anybody. I can make it back to my own bed without help. What did the doctor say, Clay? They <sighs> in hell, I hope. They didn't give me hell. They changed my bandages and told me I was fine. I'll bet. He was exhausted. Well, what do you expect? A few days out of intensive care and he goes trotting off to a wedding. Talk I, about brainless. I did what I had to do. <laughs> I married off my daughter to a wonderful man. And Toasted the bride and groom with champagne. Champagne? 
You're on medication. Now, that's what I call bright. Will you please go help somebody that really needs it? Because I do not. Uh, I knew I should have gone into pediatrics. As a patient, Mr. Alden, you are, quite frankly, impossible. Uh. Is there anything I can do for you? No. You really are impossible, Clay. If you ever expect to get better if you don't want anybody to help you. Hey, but you're not going to give me a hard time, too, are you? Or didn't I take it easy? Didn't I leave the reception early? Ava, what are you doing? Just you wait. Oh, my. This. Oh, son. Artichoke hearts. <laughs> what is that? And I got a whole selection of cheeses. I wasn't sure what kind you liked, so I got a whole bunch of different kinds. And this is an old family favorite. Mama's homemade kielbasa. Kielbasa? Mm-hmm. Huh. Smoked oysters? You know what they say about smoked oysters? Hey, you're not trying to get me in bed, are you? I'm already here. Oh, Clay, come on. Mm. Some secluded, quiet, romantic place. Mm. Like deep in the forest, picnicking near a mountain stream. <laughs> yeah, no thank me. I don't have to imagine anything. As long as I'm here, right next to you, I'm... <laughs> oh, I was, I think I was almost as happy to see the inside of that hamper as I was to see you. Well, thanks a lot. I said almost. I'll use it as a doorstop. <laughs> oh, Clay. Uh, what is going on in here? Uh, Miss Rescott, what are you up to? And what is all this? I just thought I would bring in a few treats to liven up Mr. Oh, frankly, it looks more to me like you're trying to kill him. Sugar, salt, high fat content, this stuff is poison. Oh, maybe uh, on a regular diet, but once in a while it's This happens to be a hospital, not the state campground. Soon you'll be pitching a tent, bringing in a hibachi. I want all of this out of here immediately. Of course. Miss Rescott, if you cannot comply with the regulations of this hospital, I will see to it that your visiting privileges are revoked for the entire duration of Mr. Alden's stay. Is that understood? Yes. And as for you, Mr. Alden, you should know better. Shame on you. Shame. Shame on me? I thought you were going to stand me in the corner. Oh, shame on you. Shame. Oh, what a terror. But that witch has caused more heart attacks than... It's going to have to be our last <laughs> picnic. I can do without some caviar for a few days, but I don't think I can do it without seeing you for a few days. There's no way that's going to happen. They build a moat around your house, and I'll find a way to beat this up. Well, that goes for me, too. Nothing and no one, not even my family, is going to keep me from seeing you again. You think you're holding me up, don't you? <laughs> I know I am. Oh. You want me to prove it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. This strange sense of humor, Ava. I know, I've been told. <laughs> you know, I do feel better. There's absolutely no reason in the world why I can't check out of this hospital today. Oh, well, why rush? Why don't you just take a few extra days and catch oh. up on your strength? You're going to need it. Once I get you out of here? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, I think I like the sound of that. Yeah? I have been looking forward to it. I can't wait to pass the dreary days and hours with you at home. Are we able to go back to the office? Well, I'm depending on you to keep me from going absolutely crazy. Mm. And, sir, I will meet you at the challenge. I hate to interrupt you two, but Dr. Johnson is waiting to examine you, Mr. Alden. Well, we certainly can't keep Dr. Johnson waiting, can we? Believe me, this won't take long. You wait for me? I've cleared my whole day. Good. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yes. Send her in. 
Hi, what's up? Morning. I need your initials on this third quarter financial report before I can send it into printing. This is the same version uh, I saw last week? Uh-huh. Okay. What else? Uh, I'd like to send out a memo about Dan Hollister joining the company, but personnel doesn't have his resume. Well, yeah, I, well, since I hired him, I didn't think it was uh, necessary to take him down to personnel, but uh, he's more than qualified. Yes, yeah, so well, I'm sure you wouldn't have hired him otherwise. But I still think that people should know about him. Surely he must have given you some sort of resume. Yeah, he did. And I left it at home. Would you bring it in so I can use it for the memo? When he starts moving around the company checking security, people are going to want to know who he is. Yeah, no problem. I understand. Uh, how about if I bring it in tomorrow? Fine. Thanks. Mm -hmm.